The vision we have at the center is to develop technology to help people live independently. And for that, we are thinking of various systems to help you, uh, perception capability, the cognitive capability, and mobility capabilities. This technology is something that gives one the newfound capabilities or preserves capabilities. And that in itself might have a more profound effect on their quality of life because they feel better about themselves and what they can do. One of the very important activities within the center is what we call person and society thrust. We have a um, group of people who work with us to connect us with the users and evaluate what we are trying to do and what we have done from users' point of view. Quality of life technology really couldn't be done anywhere else than here. Because of the assets that we have, because of the assets within the university, one of the things that we would love to see happen is that there is a contribution from every department on campus. And so a way to see these new types of interactions between and among the various researchers, particularly ones who haven't yet gotten involved, that's our part of our recipe for not just growth, but successful growth. Well, the societal needs for quality of life technology is obvious. The world is getting older. Unless we have technological advancement to reduce the cost, to make it, make the help accessible by everybody, the situation will be worsened. We have a leadership position now, and to advance that position and become a, a really a global presence in creation and then commercialization of these new technologies, that's part of our opportunity, that's part of our destiny, I believe.